adopted siblings, best friends, and even a little crush? Sam and Spencer's friendship has stood the test of time and is probably one of the more unique relationships in iCarly. Would you mind pouring some coffee down my drink hole? Sure, what are friends for? Let's take a look at the full story of Sam and Spencer's friendship. Oh crap, <gasps> I said crab. Oh. Sam and Spencer have known each other since Sam was eight when she became best friends with Carly. As Spencer became Carly's guardian, he took on a brotherly role towards Sam and made sure to support her, too. Why are we happy? Because our very first web show rocked and was watched by over 37,000 people. Get out! Naturally, things weren't always perfect. Like with most siblings, someone had to wreak havoc. And who better than Sam? Hey, why isn't it cold in here? Toasty the baker. Good God! <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> ah, Toasty! Spencer loves only a few things more than he loves making art. So when Sam accidentally destroyed one of his sculptures, we thought for sure that would be the end of their friendship. I told you not to turn the heat up. What? I never even. It's too late for apologies. But I didn't turn the. It's okay. It's okay. Need a mop and a bucket and 28 more pounds of butter! Spencer's ability to forgive Sam so easily was proof of their strong bond. And believe it or not, Sam actually loved Spencer's art and was one of his biggest fans. Now to finish off tonight's webcast, my brother Spencer, an amazing artist, is gonna show you his latest sculpture. His coolest one ever. So hit the applause button and say hello to my big brother Spencer. Sam even went so far as to physically help Spencer with his art. So this is seriously the first time you've ever modeled for a sculpture? First time. How am I doing? Good. Can I sneak a peek? Uh, yeah. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Spencer? Mm-hmm? That's a fish. <laughs> yeah. A tuna. Or I suppose you could argue it's a trout, you know, because of the way his lip curls up right here. I thought you were sculpting me for the past three hours. Well, I started off sculpting you, but then I started thinking about aquariums, and he happened. Then why am I still here? I get lonely. For the most part, Spencer and Sam were on the same page. I know that look. That's your thinking look. Oh, I'm thinking. You thinking? Yeah, I'm thinking. We thinking the same thing? We are, if we're thinking about a way to give Neville a vehicle that's never been state registered and can go 25 miles an hour. Oh, no, I was thinking about fried chicken. They definitely had their fair share of differences, but that led to some interesting, teachable moments. You know, I can teach you to lie. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Why not? If you want to be good at something, you might as well learn from the best. Yeah, I got third place in the Washington State lying competition. Yeah, but still, I don't think, whoa, third? Dude, I'm lying. Impressive. Sam always took her time when helping Spencer and made sure he completed the task at hand. Hello, I'm Spencer Shea. You guys sent me this letter saying I never returned Boogie Bear Takes Manhattan. That's right, you didn't. Yes, I did. When? Ten years ago. How can you remember that? Because I brought it back the same day I won my Olympic silver medal. You won a silver medal? Sure did. For what? Luge! And you're sure you brought that movie back here? Yes. Now, I have to go. I'm going horseback riding with a supermodel. Well, Spencer? Yeah? You're ready. I know! While Spencer and Sam have very different personalities, they both share a fun and creative spunk that some, aka Carly, may perceive as immature. I thought you were gonna be Sam! Give me it! No, I need it! Give. Me. It. Now how am I gonna defend myself when Sam- <laughs> ah! Stop! game on hold till we finish shooting this dare for iCarly. Are we clear? Just give us Are we clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Even though Sam tended to overpower Spencer in the physical strength department, Spencer always acted as a sturdy support system for Carly and Sam's friendship. That was way too close. No chiz. <laughs> but we made it. Yeah. And yeah, neither one of us cried the whole time. <laughs> nope. We're brave. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Since
since Sam is Carly's BFF, it makes sense that Sam is around all the time. However, Sam's constant presence at the Shea House is even deeper than that. Wow, you got home from school fast. Sam's mom gave us a ride again. That was nice of her. Nah, she just likes dumping me here. Sam's mom wasn't exactly the perfect guardian, which led to Spencer taking the reins every once in a while. It's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing here? I'm upset with my mom. We got in another fight, so I packed my bag and came here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. You're moving in here? Well, where else am I going to move to? Is everything all right? I heard noises and the chain lock of the front door is broken. What's Sam doing here? Just make me some eggs, will you? I haven't eaten since 2 a.m. Okay. Things weren't always peaches and roses, though. No, 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 no. Why isn't Celebrities Underwater on my DVR? I deleted it. Why would you do that? I don't like the playlist menu cluttered up with a bunch of shows I'm not into. Look, if you want to keep staying here, then no more eating ethnic food in my bed. Yeah. And no deleting my wet celebrities. Despite the guardian role Spencer has taken in Sam's life, it's hard not to develop a crush on one of the few people who don't completely annoy you. Am I right, Sam? Hey. Did you get him to sign? Oh, oh. Woo! Yes! Man! Looks like you guys fell for my plexiglass in front of the elevator bin. Woo! Dude, if I didn't have a little crush on you, you'd be falling for my baseball bat to your face, bit. Little crush? Did he sign the contract or not? It's illegal to cross the border without letting these people check our stuff and our passports. Blah, 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 blah. I know you have a crush on me. What? Nothing. Spencer never let Sam's crush cause any tension or awkwardness between them. In fact, he continued to come to her rescue every time she needed it. Uh, in here, Mrs. Puckett. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Blah. Hey, Mom. Are you Miss Puckett's guardian? Uh, well, actually, I'm her attorney. You know, lawyer? You're a lawyer? Are you gonna check? No. Yeah, I'm a lawyer. Sam's mom's in jail in Vegas, and we gotta get her out. Vegas? Yeah, can you borrow Sokka's RV and drive us there? Tonight? Oh, sure. Oh, Spencer's got no life, so he'll just drive us all the way to Vegas because he's got nothing better to do. Do you have something better to do? No, I'll drive you. No matter what mess Sam has found herself in, Spencer never hesitated to help her get out of it, even when she was the absolute worst. Oh, baby in the road! <laughs> just kidding. It's not funny! Regardless of how much Sam or Spencer got in each other's nerves, their bond was strong. And when their interests intertwined, it brought them closer together. Is this a 64, Sterling? You like it? That, that is the coolest motorcycle ever made. It's my dream to ride one of those. How is this here? I'm restoring it for Sako. Well, what's Sako gonna do with it? He said I could have it. What? But I don't think I'm gonna keep it. What? You're gonna sell it? Nah. I think I'm gonna give it away. Are you insane? Give it away to who? You. <laughs> Why would you give it to me? Because you're a great best friend of my little sister. And you've got a good heart. And you deserve it. Spencer and Sam have been through so much over the years, but their friendship remains strong. That motorcycle even led her to where she is today. I need Sam, but she's off following her bliss with that biker gang. The obliterators. I hope she's okay. It's Sam. I hope they're okay. <laughs> Spencer and Sam's impact on each other's lives is astronomical. We know that a relationship as goofy as theirs can never really end. <laughs> Want some pizza? No!